Get on your horses there, Buccaneers. I'm Tyler, I don't know why I just said Buccaneers. It's a pirate reference. What we are referencing is Derby Day. Today on the show, we're gonna make an incredible Maker's Mark Mint Julep. Cheers. Today on the show, we got some derby cocktails. Although the Kentucky Derby's been postponed, sadly, we can still drink mint juleps. Wait, hold on a second. I'm not wearing the right outfit. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see what I did there? That's what those TikTok kids are doing. A mint julep is done in a pretty formalized way. We've got our mint, we've got our Maker's Mark bourbon, we've got our simple syrup. We really need little else other than crushed ice. What's important, what makes it a mint julep is the classic julep cup, which is awesome because these cups have a great property about them that lets them frost up on the outside, keeping your drink super, super cold. So let's get to it. What I'm using is a Cocktails and Sons Mint and Lemon Verbena Saccharum. This will add that great mint flavor, but also it keeps it easy because I don't have to go ahead and make simple syrup three hours ahead of schedule. What do they say at the Derby? Uh, gentlemen, start your horses. So we're gonna go with 0.5 ounce of the syrup in the bottom of our mint julep cup. And again, this cocktail is made inside the cup, keeping it extremely easy. Little pro tip here. Gonna... You know the secret to a really good julep? No, sir. We're gonna take our mint. We're just gonna lightly slap the mint to let those oils open up. And then we're gonna wipe the inside of our julep cup, like so. It releases the menthol. We're gonna put some mint inside the cup. What I like to do with my mint is not pull off leaves because that seems to sometimes degrade and fall apart in the bottom of your cup. We're gonna do sprigs. So you're gonna look for about three decent sprigs of mint. Put that in the bottom of our glass right there. And then we're gonna take our muddler, which is missing. Hold on a second while I find the muddler. And I'm back. We're gonna lightly tap the bottom of the mint. You don't want to macerate the mint or press down too hard because you don't want it to break apart. You just want some gentle love in the bottom. I like to do a couple dashes of bitters, Angostura bitters right at the bottom, just two dashes. This adds a little bit more flavor, a little bit more complexity, what you're ultimately gonna be sipping up at the bottom of the cup. Now this is a boozy heavy drink, so we're gonna be doing three ounces. That's two on one side and one on the other. That's three ounces of fine Kentucky bourbon. And now that that's in the bottom, we're just gonna mix it around a little bit and then make room for our crushed ice. Now you can get crushed ice at a store or you can get it ahead of time. I prep this bag by just getting some crushed ice because it is an important component to this cocktail. We really want to fill this drink up to the top, making it a dome of crushed ice, if you will. Really pack it in there, you know. Ooh. Looking sweet. Sweet Kentucky Derby. And then finally, mix this up with your mixing spoon or if you have a, a swizzler spoon, those work really well as well for the pros out there. You're just gonna mix up the bottom of that, get all those, those juices and that dilution. And then really wanna pack this ice in on the top and then a fine bunch of mint here. Fine bunch of mint here. It's almost like you have to be Southern to truly enjoy the mint julep. Listen to me trying to make jokes, but when I really want to cry. You really want that that essence of mint to hit you right on the nose. Then what I do, which is really a little bit of fun, a little Fee Brothers mint, which is green, these mint bitters, and we just put it right here on top. Wow, look at that. Now all we need is a straw. We're gonna nestle our straw right into the mint so that when you try the drink, you get this beautiful aroma of mint, which really the smell of this cocktail is 30% of the actual taste. And there you have it. The classic Maker's Mark Mint Chula. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of just like heavy mint 
bourbon, ice. You have a couple of these, I think you're gonna be knocked off your horse. Cheers. Ah, uh, I do declare these mint juleps are in rare form. <laughs> I was knocked off a horse once in Bali. It was not enjoyable, and that horse was kind of mean to me. Never really had a great history with horses.